Hello guys, it is Pilk here again with another Sendical order. So I just thought I'd unbox it with you guys. Uh, not as much as last time, unfortunately, but I wanted to get it back ASAP just before shipping prices went up. So yeah, a lot of you like the last video, so I thought I'd just do another one. Um, let's see what we've got here. Again, less cards, more like cool stuff is what I've gone for. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, still got some really nice things in there, though, some really cool things. So, uh, we'll open this one up first. Uh, be good if I have my knife ready. This one, again, a lot of these lots people have probably seen on Macari. Um, this one was advertised like a lunchbox, and I was genuinely expecting it to be a lot bigger, and I don't know why it's folded as well. So, we'll find out now. So, it said Dinosaur King Lunchbox. Uh, it's got the Coca-Cola symbol on it. Um, so, I have no idea. I just bought it because it was cheap. And I was like, just see what happens. Um, it looks like the sides of this. Oh, here we go. The sides of this come out and form like the base for a box. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, hang on. Let me put it together really quickly. There you go. The box sort of fills really good sort of card size. And then you've got a cool thing on the top. So that's actually really nice. I'm really happy with that. Um, moving on, we have an unopened uh, triple slash card, which I don't know whether I'm going to open yet. I don't know what is going to be on it, but I'm going to leave that for now, just whilst I decide what I'm going to do with it, because I really haven't fully decided yet if I'm going to open this or not. Um, we've got here, so it's a binder, and it's quite an uncommon one, I believe. I've never seen another one. Um, obviously, my binder collection going pretty well. Um, but this is from the promotional event to do with the Quetzalcoatlsaurus or whatever it was. Um, there was some kind of promotional event in Japan with it. You can get the cards pretty easily, but I've never seen a binder uh, for it. No cards in here, unfortunately. Uh, just the binder. But I thought that was really cool. And another pretty obscure one to add to the card uh, binder collection so here is something which i thought was wicked um basically when you go to the arcades in japan you'd put your coins in here your pounds as it would be in britain and you could clip this onto your belt and then you could have just like an infinite dispenser of money to use on the machine which i thought is really cool um so i thought I'd pick one of them up it's just another like unique item there's not that many on. Uh, this, oh, I know what this is, is, oh, I don't want to break it. It's quite a sharp, nice effect. Sorry for any noise in the background as well. Uni house can get quite busy. People laughing and shit, but it's all good. I'm going to set the best I can as quick as I can. This is another one for the binder collection. It's one of the like stand-up binders. I realise I'm probably quite close actually here. There we go. It's one of the like upright binders, uh, but it's sealed. Never been opened. It's in the original packaging. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought it's cool to get that still in sealed condition. So again, another one for the binder. Uh, oh, I forgot I could bought some of these things. Um, Quite cool. Okay, this one here, I think is just on its own, is a 6th edition Styracosaurus, Japanese 6th, of course. Um, again, just one I needed. It looks like that's all that's in there apart from whatever this is. So that's another cool one just to be added in. Cards. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is, probably. I'll open these next. Um, these. A lot of this is stuff that I really don't want um, or need. 
whatever these things are, not dollars accumulated. Same with this, some kind of building thing. Uh, if anyone wants it, let me know, because it's enough to do with me. But what I was there for was these three sealed triple slash cards for the Sora Fagan X and the DS game. So if people are interested in buying these, then let me know, because these are original sealed cards. Very nice indeed. Very, very cool. Um, here, oh yes, I've got even more. I didn't even realise. Okay, I've bought more than I thought. I've bought more than I thought. Here, I have a guidebook for the DS game. Um, there's more than one, I know. But I slacked off when going to buy and then they ended up all selling. And then I saw one come back and I was like, oh, I'll get it just because you never know when they're going to come back around. Um, so this is a guidebook for the DS game uh, that people, most of you have probably played. It's on really nice paper as well, actually. Um, so yeah, another sort of map guide, strategy guides. Like, oh, that's quite nice that it's like that under there. Um, yeah, so just another cool uh, thing to add to the collection of books and binders and all the extra Dinosaur King bits. Um, I'll open this one last. I think I can do these next. So here is a little note from the seller by the look of it. Which will probably, oh, it's just Japanese billing and stuff, whatever. This is a little bundle I got, mainly just for the 6th edition uh, Sychania, because now I have the Alpha Acro and all of the golds for this set. It's pretty much complete, this set of mine. It's just a few commons and super moves and bits that I need to complete. Um, so, pretty good going for not having really been into it that long for this set. Um, oof, a bit rough, there's no sleeves on them. But we have the Cychania. Obviously, I'm not going to see the sets, but we've got Cacrodontosauruses, Baryonyx, couple more sixths, Commons, some McDonald's promos, Coro Coro promos, fourths. Big random bundle. I only really did it for the one card at the front. But we've got some good super moves, things that we need. Skip through a lot of these Commons. Yep, a very basic lot, but very cheap and very good for what I needed. So that's always good. Uh, in here, the reason why the box was like it was is this. This is a very cool lot. I know a couple of people are eyeing up in the Discord. But I managed to get my hands on first when the price dropped, which is always good. I'm going to open this very carefully just in case. So it might take a little longer than normal. This is the sort of thing I'm really excited about. I really like this sort of thing. I see the ones tape on the sides. Okay, and we are in. So, here we have a Kakashin 4th card list. Quite a rare card list, I believe. There's not loads of these hanging about for whatever reason. So this is quite a difficult one to get, um, which is great because it's always good to get things that are not that common. These are the postcards. Pretty common thing to get, not too hard to get uh, but those weren't the reason I bought the lot the reason I bought the lot were for these so they seem to be oh they're sticky okay so they're basically big stickers and um, what they were they were on top of the arcade machines uh, and stuck onto them um, for the set that would be in them um, so you got 2007 second and third um, yeah, they are basically big stickers, as you can see they peel off here, so that's how they put them onto the machines. And these ones are clearly never used, otherwise the sticky would have been off a while ago. I just thought these are really cool, because, again, they would fit 
I'm gonna tilt the camera up a bit, messy room, but my machine and some of my stuff, they could potentially fit on, uh, which would be really cool. But I obviously would never stick them on because I'm preserving them. So they would never be stuck on, um, but would just maybe fit on there, which would be really cool to see. And then last but not least, I love the way, by the way, all the Japanese sellers like cling film the stuff. It's just, I don't know, quite cool. Uh, rip that open. Um, oh God, I don't know what these are. Okay, yeah. Just checking. Okay, yeah, I'm just checking. So, free super move and mushy king things of whatever and just a random common move. These clues have been used for protection. For what is in here? You might wonder. Yes, so last time we got the, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be really careful here because this is in very nice shape and I don't wanna, there we are. Oh God, right, this is gonna be tough to do. But it's in a top loader, I believe. So is it not even a top loader? Oh my God, stress of that. So this is a mink condition, Japanese winter hidden Dynonychus. We got the revealed in the last unboxing we did. And this is the hidden one in absolutely mink condition. Um, as far as I can aware, yeah. So now we have both of the Dynonychus for the uh, 2000 and I think it's 2006 winter. Uh, I'm going to go with that. But the winter edition, the Japanese winter edition, you know what I'm on about. Um, yes, so that is everything for this lot. Just because I ordered and got it back as soon as I could. Um, just with everything going on at the moment, I didn't want it to get held uh, for a long time or anything like that. And I would never see it again. So I got it. Uh, Got it shipped over pretty quickly, um, but I will be ordering more as always. Um, and I'm thinking of doing a full collection showcase video soon, which will be massive, big video. So if I get time, I will do one of them soon. Uh, but until then, I will catch you soon. If you have any issues, I know on the last video, the comments were disabled. So I'm going to figure out, hopefully how to do that. If not, my socials to my uh, Donna's King Instagram page and my Discord are in the link in the bio or just in the in the uh, like caption section, so you can you can see that. And yeah, uh, until next one, I will catch you soon.